Today in Test Dummy Science, we're getting into some sticky situations. Oh man, I stepped in gum and now it's all over my favorite shoes. Hi, guys. Well, Eddie's foot is stuck in some gum, which is perfect because today's episode is all about the science of stickiness. So we're covering Teddy in all sorts of ooey gooey syrups and goops to see what we can make stick to him. Wait, wait, remember, we're all friends here, right? Friends don't let other friends step in large gobs of gum. I have a feeling that things are about to get messy. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Early plant-based glue was sticky, but it wasn't super strong. Tree sap and birch bark tar were used by humans over 200,000 years ago to make tools. The problem was that they pulled apart easily. The earliest recorded use of stronger modern glue can be traced back to 1500 BC in Egyptian tombs, where a substance made from animals was used to hold the caskets of Egyptian pharaohs together. Glue made from animals? That's gross. All I know is that it tastes awesome. Eddie, that's dangerous. Relax, it's just milk in a glue bottle. Want some? Only if you have chocolate. Modern glues are made of something called polymers. Polymers are great big molecules that are made of tinier molecules that are all strung together. Once these big molecules are spread on surfaces, the water in the glue evaporates and the surfaces stick together. Unfortunately, a bunch of grown-ups told us that we couldn't cover Teddy the test dummy in glue and stick him to a bridge. So instead, we're going to cover Teddy in syrup and honey and see what kinds of items stick to him. But we're making things interesting by having a little side bet. I'll be throwing cereal flakes, flour, and feathers at Teddy, while I'll be tossing breadcrumbs, candies, and rice. Whoever has the least amount of stuff stuck to Teddy at the end gets the mystery bucket of shame dumped onto their head. Ew! Teddy, how you feeling in there? Ah, suit's a little tight. Well, it's only gonna get worse. Ready, Teddy? Let's science! Let's get started with syrup. Syrup is chock full of vitamin S, which means sugar. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah! Oh, I hope there's no bears around here. These goggles do nothing! <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not cleaning this up. You missed the spot, Eddie. How'd you like this on your pancakes, huh? For a little added gooiness, we're also going to mix in some honey. <laughs> now that he's super gooey, it's time to see what's going to stick. Are you ready, Teddy? <laughs> yeah! Ah! Oh, awesome. Oh, I love candy. <laughs> Nah. I'm already too sweet. Feathers are lighter than many of the other items, so it doesn't take as many molecules to create a super sticky bond. Oh, I'm allergic to feathers. Achoo! Oh, that's a lot of breadcrumbs. More syrup! <laughs> I'm delicious! Get me on the barbecue right now! Three, two, one, go! go. Flour is made up of so many small pieces that it can even bind itself to water. So it sticks extremely well to Teddy, all covered in goo. Pretty good. Yeah, let's go. Uh, guys? Does anybody know where the bathroom is? Oh man. It's clear that in our stickiness test, I got the most stuff to stick to him. Flour, cereal, and feathers. Making me the winner. <laughs> oh, man. As punishment, Jada will receive the bucket of shame. Teddy, will you do the honors? Shame! I'm really sorry about this, Jada. Just do it. Don't worry, Jada. I never mess you up that badly. Besides, there can only be one test dummy. Thank goodness for that.